I'm Jan with Jan Patty Quilts and I do applique. And a lot of times people say to me, I love your patterns, but I just can't do those points. Yes, you can. I'll show you how. And the, the pattern I'm using today to show you this, the uh, points, I chose because it has three of the different kinds of points. The, the one most people have trouble with, of course, is the star and the outside points. But those points are straight on both sides. There's also leaf points, and they curve on both sides instead of being straight. And then there's the, uh, here it is, I knew I had it, moon points. And it goes on the inside, so you don't have straight points. So people have different, you use the same technique for all three, but I'm going to show them to you because people have different problems with them. So you, once again, any points on any pattern, I'm just using this one to demonstrate. So any pattern you have that has points in it, which is most of the patterns I do, you're going to run into these three kinds of points. Okay, we're going to start with a star because that's the one I get the most questions with. And we're going to do a little recapping. Make sure that your thread you're, you're sewing the star down with matches the star, not the background. That you have a long, comfortable needle like a Milner's and one you can thread. Uh, and you have a good thimble. Okay. Now, when, when we cut this out, the point is right here, but cut that across there. Trim that across here. If you haven't trimmed it before when you cut it out, if it still goes to a long point, cut it off now. Cut it off about a fourth of an inch out from the end of the point. Since the point, and we'll do inside points later in a different tutorial. Right now we're concentrating on the outside ones. And since the point is the area that's challenging, Jenny always says challenging, not a problem, you don't start there. You start about halfway down the leg of the star. And once again, you bring the needle and the thread up from behind both pieces of fabric and you just catch your applique piece. We're doing the basic stitch and just taking it up to the point. And as you notice I've taken my glasses off and this is why I say I listen to TV because <laughs> I really need to get another pair of bifocals because I can't sew with my glasses on very well, but I can't watch TV with my glasses off. <laughs> so guess which I'd rather do? And I always, my husband listens. I, my husband watches, I listen. Okay, now we have come to the end of the point where the point ends and we're going to take a double stitch or a stay stitch. And I call it that because you want the fabric to stay where it is. Now, you bend this back and see, you can see where that stitch is right there. You're going to take your scissors and trim that out so we don't have to fold it. And you're going to trim a little bit of the top one out too. Okay, now you take that and just set it on your table. And at the end of the day, I always have a little pile of those sitting there. I've got to figure out something to do with them. Now, what you're going to do here is make a hospital corner. Some of us older ladies know what that is before fitted sheets came in. But you fold it straight across. Take your finger under here and you're pressing against your finger and you fold straight across. Usually I take my thimble off. Now you fold it under again until you get the point you want. Use your thumb to hold it under. Once you've got it folded, pick it up, pick your needle up again, and start stitching. It's really pretty simple. Up. 
Now, I'm going to stitch my way to the next one, and then I'll come back and do that again so you can see it again. Okay. Okay, so now we're back almost to the top point again. And once again, when we get there, we're going to take a double stitch or a stay stitch, and then we kind of put the needle down for a minute. And we, we mainly use our hand under here and our hand on top. We get that out of the way. This wasn't trimmed quite well enough, so we're going to do that to begin with. We'll fold this back. And see that huge piece? We've got to get that out of the way if we want a sharp point. And then probably just the edge of that there since we trimmed it. So we've got our three little pieces to add to our pile over here. And I went ahead and did that without explaining it. Your fingers under here, you press against that finger, you fold that straight across and then you fold the whole thing under. And then pull with your thread and that'll, if you can get hold of it, there. Give you a nice sharp point. And you can do this with great big stars or little teeny stars. It's the same process. And then you just take your thumb, hold it down, and start stitching again. Okay, so now we've done the star with the straight points and we're going to do a leaf that has a curve going up to the point. So we take our needle and just press under along our line. It's kind of hard to see because of the fabric. The good thing about homespuns is they do bury your stitch real easily. See, you can't see any of my stitches. Isn't that nice? Anyway, but stitch up to the point, and the point is right here. Make your double stitch, get your needle out of the way, and I think I will also get that pin out of the way. I don't, I couldn't sew without my needle roll here. Okay. Here's, it's a stay stitch, pull it back. That's pretty well trimmed already. This, you kind of, you don't want as sharp as an angle, so you trim it kind of on the curve. But then you, your needle's still down, you put your hand under here, you do a straight across stitch, and then you just fold it on your line it just isn't as sharp. You don't want a sharp point here. You want a soft point. And then you put your thumb down, press it under, put your thumb there, and start stitching again. There, none of this is really rocket science, ladies. But if, if you don't know these little tips, it Points can be a pain in the neck if you don't know how to trim them, but you do now. <laughs> okay. All right. Now that we've got a star and a leaf, we're going to move on to a moon because the moon has a slightly different curve to it. It goes inside here instead of soft curves up or straight curves, it goes inside. One thing you probably, it would be a good idea, is on the inside curve of this moon, you would now go up and at least clip along toward where it's going towards the curve. We're going to start near the top here because it really doesn't matter where you start. But you don't ever want to start at the point because that's what you're going to have to fold under. So we're going to stitch up to the point. And see, I didn't, I'm, I'm going to put my needle down for a second here 
and do what I said to do before. We, need, we don't need to have to worry about this, all, turning all that fabric under. So we need to trim that before we get there to about a fourth of an inch away. And just add it to our little pile of trimming. And stitch up. Once again, you stitch right up to the point. Do a double stitch. And we're going to see if there's anything that needs to be trimmed. There isn't anything that needs to be trimmed on the inside. You can see that. It's already cut. But you might trim away just a little. And see, you don't trim there. You trim at an angle. Because you want to get rid of that excess there. You don't want to get too close to the line here or your fabric will fray. And if your fabric does fray and you end up with a point that's all frayed up here, then just loosen this up and take out a couple of stitches and have your point end up back here instead of where you are. Nobody is going to know. Nobody will know at all. Okay, once again, press against your finger, fold under straight across and then fold under. And this one takes a little bit of folding. Beca and then put your thumb down. No, I don't like that. That crimped. Okay. So. Sometimes there, the fabric will do it. And you have to fold it again. There. Now it's not crimping, and you fold it under and under, and see that nice fine point you got that time? Okay, as soon as you get that nice fine point, get your thumb on that and hold it in place. Sometimes I have had ladies who have trouble because when they fold it under, the fabric phrase starts coming out here. That's because they didn't make their stitches close enough coming up to the point. So if that happens, just take your needle and go back over here and take a couple of stitches and bind that down so the fabric can't come out in between the stitches because what, what it's doing is poking out the other side. Then once again. Okay, so now we've gone over points, straight points, points that curve and points that curve back in. This is a tricky thing, ladies, but go back over the little tapes three or four times, watch them. You can do it. They're really pretty easy once you learn how. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from Jan Paddock Quilts, and for more tips and tricks, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks.